if bail is set on a felony matter, or any matter for that fact, at $10,000 or less, the prison has the authority to let the person go for whatever reason. If it's prison overcrowding, or they just don't feel they need to keep them The emergency release, yeah, the emergency right. release, 10,000 and under, yeah. 10,000 and under, the prison can let them out without any permission from the prosecutor or the judge. But if it's set at more than that, then they need to get a judge's permission. So guess what the prosecutors always ask for bail? $11,000, you know? And people wonder, oh, how do they come up with that? That's the reason why. Now you see the attorney general's office, they deal with more white collar criminal stuff, and they will come in routinely and ask for bail, $2,000, $5,000, $1,000, you know, no problem. But for some reason, the city prosecutor's office think that they have the authority to come in and based on whatever um, statistics or whatever rationale or protocol that they're using that they've created themselves because they're not following the law, they are doing it spe specifically to incarcerate people. And then you have to start worrying about the ACLU statistics that say the people incarcerated will plead out quicker and faster and more often than people that have been able to post bail and are not being held for weeks and months on end with no um, actual end in sight. They're not given a specific court date. They're given an on trial court date. And it takes about a year right now to get to trial. So you're sitting in jail for a year, never knowing what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, that can put pressure on people to plead. Um, so the problem where that comes is if the prosecutors are intentionally doing that, which they are by setting bail at $11,000. That's the real problem. So